Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will look at how to use inquirer package in TypeScript to create a basic calculator. By the end of the video, you will learn how you can make a calculator with ask user for two inputs, input 1 and input 2. And then after that, it asks the user to perform an operation. It can perform addition, subtraction, multiplication or division. And then based on the user selection, it performs that operation. So let's get started. So the first thing first, you need to open up the terminal inside your current folder. So we have inquirer dash calculator as our current folder. And we have looked at it in very much detail on how you can install inquirer and configure your files. So we will be first playing it for now. For detailed information on this part, you can look at our previous video on inquirers. The link for that video is in the description below. Alright, so now we will create a new file with the name as index.ts. And over here, we will import the inquirer library. Now we will create a variable with the name as answer. And then we will use the inquirer.prompt method. Our first object will be the first number. So we will give it the type as number. And then we will give the name as num1. And then the message for the user will be enter the first number in the same way we will create a new object and this will be for number two name will be num2 and the message will be enter the second number and then we will create a list from where the user can select which operator they want to perform on these two numbers so for that we will create type and the type will be list. Let the name for this object be as operator. And then the message will be select the operator you want to perform. And then obviously we also need to provide the choices as well. So inside the choices, we will give them the list of choices. Add subtract multiply and divide now till here what we have done is we have asked the user to input two numbers so that will be number one and number two and then the user will select the operator addition subtraction multiplication or division now based on that what we need to do is once the user has done the selection we will take help of the conditional statements and that will be the switch case in our scenario so let's first of all declare a variable let result and the answer will be number data type so let it be number data type over here and then the next thing that we need to do is we need to use the switch case statement so what we need to switch on will be the answer dot operator because as you can see this is your answer and inside the answer the operator will be the object which will contain what operation the user is interested in so based on this, we will perform the switch case statement. And you know the switch case statement has a syntax similar to this. Now the first case will be add. And what should happen if the user selects the add operation? Obviously in that case, the result will be equals to answer.num1. So we want to add the two numbers, num1 and num2. Here you go. So the two numbers are added over here. And then what you can do is you can do a quick console.log and tell the user the answer for addition is and then concatenate the result and then apply the break over here. Now let's move on to the second case. Now in our second case we have subtraction. So in this case the result will be equals to answer.num1 minus answer.num2 and then a quick console.log and then you can tell the user the answer for subtraction is the result for this case and then we apply the break over here let's move on to the next case and this will be for the multiplication in this case, the result will be equals to answer dot num1 
multiplied by answer dot num2 and then we can tell the user console.log the answer for multiplication as equals to the result and then break it and then our last case will be related to the division and in this case the result will be equals to answer dot num1 divided by answer dot num2 and then console dot log telling the user the answer for division is equals to the result for this case and then break it so now you can see over here we have a neat and clean code for taking the user inputs with the help of the inquirer.prompt method this will take two inputs num1 and num2 and then the user will select the operation based on that we will have a variable result that will carry forward the result for whatever operation the user is interested in so let's compile this code and run it so here you can see it asked for the first number so the first number let's say I enter is 10 and the second number I enter is 20 and now it asks to select what operation you want to select so with the help of the arrow key you can select one of these let's select multiplication and you can see over here the answer is 200 which is correct let's also quickly perform another operation so I will enter the first number as 10 second number is 20 again and let's perform the division this time so you can see it gives you the answer as 0 0.5 which is also correct so this is how you can create a very basic calculator with the help of the inquirer package in TypeScript and with this I hope you have got an understanding of how you can use inquirer package to perform different functionality and make use of it to make different applications such as a basic calculator and much more just write down in the comment section if you want us to make a different application for you and if you have any issues just let us know in the comment section as well thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so that you can get more informative videos like this